It took three years to build this Earth Analog Lunar Rover. So you see, ugh, the original idea is to take as much of the backpack weight off the astronauts' back as possible, and then deliver to them via a long umbilical arm, water, power, air, data, communications, whatever the astronaut might need. They can clip in, clip out of the umbilical as much as they want, and the rover supports the rest. And yes, this is a real spacesuit. We wanted to test this concept on Earth, just to see how valid it was, see how, say, field geologists like the concept, see how much life support we should keep on the astronauts' back in case they want to disconnect, go off, collect rocks, and come on back. So we built our Earth analog version. It can climb 30-degree slopes on Earth, just like we'd want the lunar case to. Uh, we can level our chassis on those slopes, but in Earth gravity, which is six times heavier than the moon's. So here's a compilation of what it took to build this. These that holds our gearbox for the steering, and we have to be able to put these tabs into slots that we've designed. And he bent the giant steel bar that goes into the arbor press a little bit. Thumbs up. Oh, no, I'm just wondering. Yeah, cool. That's fine. That's good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Another one.
rental encoder holder it goes like this. Yeah. Right. Anybody watching this is from the SSL. It's the same tub of harmonic grease that you used. I don't know, okay, I don't care when you were here. It's the same tub. And try and get a nice even spread across the whole thing. I pick it up from some places. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put our brass shaft in first. These fingers out of the way. Fingers clear. Okay. That's why we ask. It spins. And I don't. Ding, ding, ding. I don't. I don't hear any grinding. We're just gonna spin it back and forth twice. Just for our lunar rover. Yeah. No. Cool. Yeah, Charlie, after you ask me what it's. Too much friction. Press fit. Too much friction. Press fit. Is that my advertising? <laughs> Now let's cool it. It's not, it, it runs better when there's weight on the wheels. Also, he's up. Yes. Okay, so run leg.
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Once the rover was mostly working, we got testing. It, it didn't always go so well. But most of the time, our testing has been very valuable. As of right now, we've completed three field trials so far, and the vehicle is proving to be very reliable, so we're looking for even more field sites. If you know of a place with large slopes and loose gravel, please reach out and let us know, especially if you're near the Maryland area. We'd love to come test wherever we can.